Get this, the odysseyonline.com says that most friend groups have a leader, even if they don't realize it. You know, the one friend that keeps the calendars, makes the plans, sends the itineraries. But what if you realize your man isn't the leader in his friend group? So ladies, could you date a man who isn't the dominant one when he's with his bros? And is it a turn on if he's more of the dominant leader type in the group? What's wrong with people? <laughs> like, we really not dating people because they're not the leader of their group. Everybody okay. can't be a leader. No. Sometimes being a follower is just fine. You go with the flow. Maybe those things don't matter. I think you lead when it matters. Yes. yes. And everybody will step yes. up to the plate yes. when it matters. Yes. Who's deciding where we go for dinner? I don't care. Right. Yes. Like, my man doesn't have to lead in every situation. As it matters that he as leads he's me. Not, <laughs> as long as he... How can I put this? Okay, I'll give an example. One time I was dating a guy and his friend group, and most of them were married. And so then he would come back and go, yeah, um, Joe said, you know, don't get married because, you know, he's married and he's not having a good time. And I didn't like that. So he you know wasn't an independent thinker. Right. He wasn't independent or it was like, like you said, they would always go by one person. Like, whoever yeah. the leader is, like, they go by this one this one person because maybe of finances and stuff so like that. seems so immature. Like, it's really immature, guys... but it really ha Can you think, you know that there are some people... Okay, I'll give another example. We might be able to use this, I don't know. Let's say Jay-Z. Okay. Jay-Z has a bunch of guys around him, so yeah. he's practically the leader. Yeah. But think about all of the women that are girlfriends. They probably have to kind of, like, be second to whatever Jay says. That's what I think this is talking about. Mm. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do it. <laughs> I'm confused. If you have a guy who has a friend who is the leader and like he pretty much answers to that man, there, there is like, okay, you know how there's mama's boys and they yeah. listen to everything their, their moms say? There are guys who have group of friends where it matters to them what their guy friends sure. think. So whoever is the leader of their guy right. gang kind of says, Holding hands is corny. So now your boyfriend don't uh, want to hold your hand. That's what my, I'm talking about. Because my boys are going to play me right. if they see that I hold hands right. with charitable. Right, right. Can't do it. No. Right, no. I think Won't that's across it. the board, no. though. Won't, Won't do, do it. it. Right, at all. But that does exist. It exists. Oh, sure. And I would think whoever's the leader is probably the one who either has the flashier lifestyle or has the more money. Then he can say, like, we're going to the game this weekend. We're doing this. I think yeah. whoever that leader is. But I don't care if he's a leader in it in his friend group for me to find him Is it okay hot. if he's a flunky to a yeah, leader? Yeah, that's what No, I that's a problem. Yeah, I can't do okay. that. No. Yeah. I will say, I'll though, for my man and I, we're both, we're both dominant yeah. in, our, in our work air spaces and everything, but in our friends group, that's where we kick back and we actually don't want to be on. And, and I like it and my friends know it so they don't expect us to be the one making all the decisions mm -hmm. or creating the trend in our, in our group. But, but if, I, if we were dominating there, too, it would, it would, it would be, be too, too much. much. Yes. Yeah. Too yeah. much. Too yeah. much. I yeah. completely agree. I just wanted to give a proper meaning to what this was about. No, Thank and you that, so much, that was honey. a great example. <laughs> that was a great because example. Because I think we all are like, we don't need him to be the right. leader per right. se, no. but I also don't want him to just be a follower. Right. Yeah. Exactly. And that's the huge difference. Yeah. Exactly. Now to a thread on Reddit that people are going in on. Someone asked the question. What do you have a low tolerance for? And let me tell you, people are not packing their patience, folks, okay? From getting mad to being sad, you would be surprised at the things that irk the average person. So now I wanna know, what do you ladies have a low tolerance for? And has that threshold gotten lower as you got older? Whew, people who are <laughs> disrespectful, people who yes. act like they're better than you. Ooh. People who are rude, like I don't have any tolerance for that. Mm -hmm. Yes. People that are. mistreat people, yep. especially children or, or old elders. people. I have a very low tolerance, and as I get yes. older, it's getting worse. I think I'm gonna need some help, because I can't do yes. I am getting so mad, because people are so rude. They are yes. rude. You know what I mean? And I just like, where is this coming from? Yeah. That this rudeness that we have, especially in this country, that we don't care about each other. That we other. don't take care of one another, especially our vulnerables around us. Yeah. Oh. It's terrible. I'm just like, oh, that, yeah. that, I really have a little tolerance yes. for that. 
I also think people who lie when you have a relationship with them. If you're oh. friends, don't lie to me. Exactly. Just don't, you're not right. gonna trust them again. Ever. Right. Ever. And changes the complete dynamic. Ever. Completely. And, and if you're really friends, especially when you're older, when you start to pass your 20s, when you're 34, you wanna start, this friendship we have, the time we spend on the phone, texting each other, going out to be at each other's places, you're investing in each other. Mm -hmm. This could be a livelihood. Absolutely. So don't ever feel like you have to lie. And if that person can't take it, then they ain't your friend. That's right. I That's also right. have a low tolerance for people. It, it, it's on the lying part, but it's more financial. It's like, if you need some money, ask me. Don't go all around, around the, bush the bush and making up all these, and I'm gonna pay you back. You know you're not gonna pay me back. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah. Pay Tell me back. why you need the money, and let me decide right, right, if right. I want to, you know right. what I mean? Don't, because you're not gonna pay it back. Okay, yeah. just tell me why you need it, if it's important, and I will give you the money if I feel like it, but don't let, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna pay it back right. on to it. Now here's, here's a payment plan, <laughs> and it, it, you not, put that down, I don't have time for that. It's like, as you get older, you just wanna cut to the chase. You ain't got a lot of time on this earth. That's so true. Okay, you yes. just wanna just cut to get the chase. Get to the point, yes. don't lie, oh, don't no. be rude. She doesn't have tolerance for your long-winded lie. Yes. <laughs> so it's, not just, it's not just a lie. I it's don't want to hear your long-winded version of your lie. <laughs> At least let's keep this concise. Look, yeah. <laughs> the big... Don't call me about something you could have just texted me about. There's a difference between, honey, I want to give you this payment plan because I was thinking that maybe you could help me with... Instead, just be like, bitch, I need some money. Can you help? That's it. Yes.